Okay. Hello guys. Welcome to Life is Strange. Or at least the credits before the title screen. Here we go. Press any button. Now I started playing this game. But I'm gonna delete it. And we're gonna start over. Because I'd only just started it and I decided, you know what, what the hell? I'm gonna do a let's play. Why not? New game. I really enjoy it so far, by the way, guys. This game is amazing. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. I'm super nervous, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. In Everything's room. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of Whoa. hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of there those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. He is tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I, could I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. I capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Okay, guys. I read this before, and it's quite long, so I'm gonna stop on each page and be there for a moment so you guys can pause and read it yourself, because this is a pretty nice diary. Thank you. 
That's so cute. <laughs> I didn't even stop to read her name. I think it's Kate. I hope that's the right person. There are so many names to remember. Okay. Oh my god, there's texts in this game. How do we go back? How, how do we? Oh, it's down here. Duh. <laughs> yeah, her name is Kate. I was right. Wait, let's go to the very. Okay, there we go. Hey, Max, you around? Always. You okay? Did you want to go get tea later? Uh, later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Uh, I hope that means born. I mean, I guess she could be adopted. Wait, wait, go to the top, go to the top. There we go. <laughs> Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. What the hell? Why is she ignoring his messages? I thought they were friends, based on what I was reading, like, ages ago, because I didn't stop to read, even though I paused for you guys. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to do as Isn't much as Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Pencil case. Pencil, what if pencil Arbus case? chose to capture people at the height? Of their beauty or innocence. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. Me too, Victoria. He captured I should the take a picture to prove I'm still here. Plus, it's and I have to get my daily selfie quota. But a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process 
brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your text. Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Poor Max. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Woo. Got the camera controls. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. It's really pretty. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. She's so sad. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I hope she feels better. I've got this bad feeling she's gonna try to kill herself. Oh, duck. How are you look? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. What assholes. Sorry I'm not talking much, guys, but I do want you guys to experience it as best you can. Huh. This might make a cool shot. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Ultra zoom in. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Is there anything else to look at over here? 
I don't think so. Let's uh, shift walk. Walk faster. Oh, there's so much to look at. I will wait until we've looked at everything in this classroom before... Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. Before I decide. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Before I decide to uh, stop recording. You can never escape the lighthouse here. I wonder what it means. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HGTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. By the way, what a slut. Look at her. Leaning over the desk like that. Mini skirt. What the fuck? Flirting with the fucking teacher. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Uh, work with me here. I'm trying to... There we go. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. <sighs> Mr. Jefferson. I can just look at him, so. Is there anything else in here? Well, I mean, I think I've looked at everything now, so... Alright guys, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.